Why did you start working with startups? How did you end up venturing into this space? I love the journey. I love the trials. I love the challenges of what entrepreneurs go through. To be able to decide one day that, hey, there's a problem that I want to solve and there's a group of people that I think will be interested in doing that. And there's no existing path to pursue it. Being able to pay that for yourself. I mean, imagine the, the sacrifice you have to make to be able to go through that. And it was just something that always interested me. And so when I graduated from University of Houston, I think people come to me saying, I want to nap out in a month. Okay, to do what? They're like, I'm going to get a thousand users in four months. Okay, you still don't know the core problem you want to solve. How do you expect me to build it for you? How do you expect you to go get customers? Yeah. And if you're going to build something for them and then they realize they want something else. And then they blame the agency because, yeah. hey, you built the wrong thing. After that, my life changed. And I realized without that experience, I would have kept working and, you know. Be a cog in a wheel. Be a cog in a wheel and, yeah. you know, to extreme, maybe shoot myself. I don't know. It's, it, it was that bad. It's like all I could talk about work. This is how bad it was. It was so bad that like four or five years ago, my friend said, I'm coming to Austin. You know, me and my friends are getting a boat at Lake Travis. I'd invite you, but if you bring up the business model canvas, you're getting kicked out. Also three years ago, there was a room, myself, and then there's 20 or so community leaders from all the chambers, you know, Capital Factory, and a, a bunch of people. And the question to everyone was, 